Hey, good morning, guys. Just wanted to uh, show you something here. Uh, I showed in one of my last videos that uh, my kids uh, had wrecked their pilot that they were driving, and uh, um, somebody stopped real quick in front of them and got them. Anyways, uh, one of the things we went to pull apart, we were able to get all the parts, but we couldn't find a radiator. And so, as you can see, this radiator, the, the hit knocked the pin off here, and it fractured the radiator. Now, I had a Ford Explorer Sport Track, and uh, radiator was pretty expensive for it. So I decided that I was going to try to uh, fix it. And I went out to Harbor Freight, and I got one of these uh, Harbor Freight kits. Uh, it was a, it was a plastic welding kit uh, uh, on here, right? So it's a plastic welding kit from Harbor Freight. It comes with a bunch of stuff inside of it, wire mesh, a holder. Uh, some of these little bars of plastic and you would think oh, that's the plastic I need to fix the stuff, but it's not that's actually ABS plastic um, So it is not the right plastic but after doing a bit of research that I found out that these these uh, uh, Radiator pieces are actually made out of nylon. So guess what nylon is in plastic a good old zip tie so you can use plastic zip ties so on my sport track i welded up the radiator it was cracked around the neck using zip ties it lasted a two and a half years or something like that and uh, and it didn't give me any problems held pressure no problem so today i'm going to try to weld up this pin on this uh on this here radiator for the kids so that they can drive the vehicle again so basically i'm just going to push it back into shape I've got the iron already and it's hot. See the iron here? So um, it's actually the end's a little deformed from using it. I've used it for a couple different weld plastic welding projects. So anyhow, I'm gonna get started and see what we can do here in just a few minutes. So uh, you basically gotta push it back and then uh, tack it. So I'm going around it. Tacking it, tacking it, tacking it, tacking it, tacking it. And now this is, you're basically blending the two pieces of plastic together. But, you know, I got a little bit of a groove here. So I'm going to have to fill that groove in. You know, we got to get a little, just like any other kind of welding to me, once you once you weld it, you gotta get it to have some materials. So here, I got our zip tie. I got her. She's pretty straight. So let's see what we can do here with the zip tie.
So basically I'm trying to, where I attacked it, I'm just trying to heat it up and fill it back in because those two, it took away a little bit of the plastic, you know, it kind of melted it down a little bit. So, so this doesn't have to be a permanent repair, but I needed to get the kids by for a little bit here. So. So as you can see, I'm just kind of building it up a little bit. I gotta go all the way around it here. I'm no expert at this, you know, but sometimes you just do what you can do to get by. You know, if you don't have to buy a $200 radiator or you can't find it, you know, get you by for a week till the next paycheck or whatever. You know, a lot of us in the estates here, we live paycheck to paycheck. And so, anyhow, I like doing things that I can do myself if I can help it, you know. Don't have to pay somebody else to do it. Kind of been that way all my life. So, looks like we just about got her here. So, Got her all the way around. There may be better ways of doing this. This is the way that I've done it. So, yeah, one more little spot here. All right.
She ain't pretty, but I'm pretty sure she'll hold pressure. Oh, as you can see, it's there. It ain't moving. So, uh, uh, if it uh, doesn't work for some reason, uh, it did on the last one. So I don't know. I don't know why, guys, that it wouldn't work this time. So in 10 minutes with a plastic welder from Harbor Freight and, uh, whoa, what, a penny and a half's worth of material for maybe, maybe it's 10 cents now because of inflation, but one zip tie, nylon zip tie. So you need a nylon zip tie to weld your radiator tank with the Harbor Freight welder. Don't use the pieces that are in it. Hey, guys, take it easy. Peace out. Have a good one.